Bonjour mes amis. Hello my friends. How are you? Comment ça va? Welcome back to Senior Elementary Art Class. Our lesson today is called The Loomis Head. For today's lesson, you will need a piece of watercolor paper, a graphite pencil, an eraser, and a ruler. Today we're talking about the Loomis Method. Andrew Loomis was an American illustrator, author, and art instructor. His commercial work was featured prominently in advertising and magazines. However, Loomis is best known as author of a series of instructional art books printed throughout the 20th century and have recently been reprinted for the 21st century. Long after his death, Lewis, Loomis's realistic style has continued to influence many artists, including me. The Loomis method refers to the mathematical style which Loomis employed when drawing the human figure. He developed a structure method that aligned every feature through dividing simple, three-dimensional shapes and using these divisions to measure the precise size of each element and the space in between. This technique ensures a quick and accurate production of the figure. Today, we are going to start with the Loomis head. This piece is called Goodbye Summer. It's a painting by J.C. Leyendecker done back in 1934. If we were to divide the head into two shapes, what parts of the head do you think they would be? You can easily divide the head into a sphere for the cranium and a box shape for the jaw. If we were to divide the head from top to bottom into halves, what lines up with that division? The eyes line up perfectly in the center of the head. If we were to divide the face from top to bottom into thirds, what part of it lines up with the divisions? The first third lines up with our eyebrows, and the second third actually lines up with the bottom of our nose. Now let's do a little exercise called the Loomis Head. Start by drawing a large circle on the watercolor paper. Next, draw a horizontal line through the middle of the sphere. If the line does not look like it is in the middle, please erase it and try again. Now our heads are not perfect spheres, so on both sides of the sphere, draw vertical lines and erase the part of the sphere that is past this vertical. Make sure you only take off a little of the sphere and make both sides even. Now draw a straight vertical line through the center of the sphere. Choose and mark a spot on the vertical line near the top of the sphere to be the hairline. Next, the horizontal line that you already drew is the brow line. Measure with your pencil or fingers the size of the space between the hairline and the brow line. Measure it one more size down from the uh, brow line and mark it for the nose line. Do it one more time for the chin line. Now you have the full length of the head. Draw a short horizontal line for the chin. And on both sides of the chin, draw either a curved line or two diagonal lines. 
that connect the edge of the chin to the bottom of the flat sides of the sphere. Now, find the middle of the entire head. Draw a new horizontal line here. This is the eye line. Now find the spot that is halfway between the nose line and the chin line and mark it. This is the bottom of the mouth. This is the Loomis head. Now let's draw the features. Draw the eyes on the eye line. Try to make them the same size and make the space between them the same size. Now draw the eyebrows on the brow line over the eyes. Next, draw the nose. The bottom of the nose lines up with the nose line, but the bridge of a nose actually starts between the eyes. Now draw the mouth a little below the nose, making sure the bottom lines up with the mark you made earlier. Now draw the ears on the sides of the head. Make sure the top lines up with the brow line and the bottom lines up with the nose line. Now you can draw in the hair starting at the hairline. I extended the hairline to really see how the shape of the hair would be on the head. Now draw your hair in locks. These are curved groups of hair. Remember the hair overlaps the head and other locks of hair. Last thing is draw the neck. It comes from behind the head and near the bottom of the ears and gets a little wider at the bottom. Now since you used watercolor paper, now you can paint your head. Now here I'm showing you some examples of how to do the profile or side view using the Loomis method. I'm following the exact same order as the previous guide. So if you want to take those that handout sheet that I, I send with the lessons, you can actually follow step by step each part. It's the exact same steps, but they're a little bit different because of the point of view.
Thank you, my friends, for joining Senior Elementary Art Class. Merci beaucoup. I hope you had fun. I'm sure you enjoyed drawing your own Loomis head. Prends soin de vous, take care of yourselves, and I will see you next week. Au revoir.